Welcome to this DRA video demonstration. This video provides one example in the web console of how to customize a user create form to help automate adding new users to a company's network. Specifically, this scenario demonstrates how to use the create new action feature in DRA customization to create a customized user form that IT administrators will employ when they create new users in the company's legal department. When finished, the new user form, titled Legal User, will pre-populate a unique form generated employee ID and add the new user to the organizational unit named Legal upon account creation. Both of these customizations are added to the user create form by configuring two different types of DRA custom handlers. A custom handler is a user-defined event to write business logic for specific requirements, which are not available in DRA out-of-the-box features. This can include simple field validations, generating field values, and even making server calls to query for required information. Before we begin, Note that we already have an organizational unit for the company's legal department with three users in the OU container who have sequential employee ID numbers. Let's get started. First, we add a new create object user form by navigating to customization, create new action. We name the form legal user Select an icon for the new form. Pick user as our object type. And ensure the operation is set to create object. Next, we need to add two custom handlers to the form. The first one will be an LDAP query to fetch the next available employee ID from the legal OU. The second one will be a script to set the default container one point path for the OU when a new user is created in the form. We use an LDAP query because it has the power to make a separate Active Directory call to fetch the existing user details. To create the custom handlers, we go to Form Properties in the General tab of the new form we created and select the Form Load Handlers tab. After enabling the page, we first select LDAP query in the Custom Handlers drop-down menu and then open the editing feature. To configure the LDAP query, start with the connection information and provide the host name of the LDAP server. Next, we specify the distinguished name for the legal OU in query parameters. We select the scope we're going to use for this query and specify the attribute as employee ID to fetch the employee ID number. Specify the filter to pass an LDAP query and get all users. Thus far, the LDAP query is configured to return the employee ID for all existing users. We now need to configure a post query to get the next available employee ID for a new user. The query results in the script provide the response when executing the LDAP query to include finding the last employee ID in order to create a new employee ID by increasing the ID number by one. We'll make sure we click OK to save our changes. Next, we configure the OU assignment by adding a script handler from the custom handlers menu. From here, you can open the edit option and use the macro drop-down menus to build the script. For this, we'll use the form field container one point path and point it to the legal OU container by adding the containers default value. To ensure our scripts are correct, we'll validate the custom handlers. In the test summary, the first part displays the list of existing users with employee IDs. The latter part displays the next available employee ID 
as well as the default value of the container. Click OK and apply the changes to save the form. Since the employee ID is now set to auto-generate in the new form, we finish the form configuration by setting the employee ID field to read only. Ensuring that we apply the final changes. Now we'll demonstrate the result of the custom handler in the new user page. To create a new user in the legal department, the administrator navigates to Management, Create, and selects the new form, Legal User. In the Create User page, note that the container location is pre-populated in the Create In field, and the new ID is pre-populated in the Employee ID field. After the administrator creates the new user, a user search in the Legal OU shows the new user with the auto-generated employee ID. In this video, you have seen how to create and customize a Create User form to pre-populate the new user's employee ID and organization when an administrator uses the form to create a new user account. For more information about Directory Resource Administrator, see the documentation site. Thanks for watching.